What's up everyone? It's your boy Osito and his adventures and today we're back with the what? With another banger. First and foremost I want to say welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here I want to introduce myself. My name is Isaac better known as Osito and adventures and in this channel we talk about auto detailing we drop vlogs, I'll show you the in and outs about how I run my business, the good and ugly, and such. So if you enjoy content like that, make sure you hit that bell notification, but first you gotta subscribe so you don't miss another video like this. With that being said, guys, I wanna get straight into this video. Straight out the bat, I wanna be straight up, man. Straight up. I'm broke as hell. I ain't got a dime, man. And that's all because of her yes that's the one that has me broke right now guys she has me broken upset so i was on the market looking for a van i would did have a budget guys my budget was about 2800 so i was looking around i came across this one it was listed for 25 um i came to check it out you know everything seemed to check out it was pretty decent you know, um, so I ended up picking it up. You know, it's not the biggest, it's not the smallest. It does fit my, all my equipment and possibly what I want to do in the future. So I ended up picking it up for 23. Is that too much? Possibly, you know, it is an older vehicle, but I'm hoping and praying. I know God got my back and everything's gonna work out with this older vehicle. So with that being said, guys, I just want to go over, the, you know, over the van that I picked up, why I picked it up and the equipment that I have inside, you know, so. Let's get straight to it, guys. First, we're gonna do a walk around. And guys, as you guys can see, she is beat up. She is not pretty. You know, um, she's older. She, um, <clears throat> I left the tape there. Um, you know, she's pretty beat up and there is a lot of windows. One thing I do plan on doing is, as soon as I knock out a, my next detail, possibly using the money to tent these windows back here as you guys can see there's a lot of windows and sometimes my equipment could be exposed so I plan on putting some pretty dark windows on the sides but as you guys can see she's pretty basic straightforward and ugly so with that being said guys I truly want to praise the Lord above for making it happen without him none of this will be possible you know, I'm truly blessed for the opportunities it gives me, and I'm so grateful for this van. You know, even though she's a little ugly, I know she came through clutch with the power of God. So with that being said, guys, I also want to give a huge shout out to my wife, you know, for supporting me throughout this journey, along with her family. And, you know, her family been a huge blessing to my family, you know, and to my life. So I want to give a huge shout out to them and my brother, Junior the Detailer. Shout out to you, Junior the Detailer, for having my back, helping me in this journey and building up this business, you know. So I truly appreciate you and appreciate everybody, you know, behind the screen. I appreciate you. I'm talking to you right now, sitting down, watching this video. I truly appreciate you. You guys give the motivation to pump out videos like this and continue so, growing. All right, guys, before I start crying, let's get straight to the video, right? Yes. So first to get up in here, you know, you got to have the dice in the vehicle like this. You got to have them dices, man. Them 90 vibes, right? But yes, yeah, so I ended up putting some um, seat covers just because the originals, they're actually not in bad shape. So I didn't want to mess them up. But I just threw those on, you know, and then um, I came with this little thing right here, which I kind of like. You know, I have all my cards right here, the promos that we have for the month, maintenance cards, whatever. Then you move over here. She comes with one seat right here and the, the third row seat. Uh, I took out the third row seat. I decided to keep this one for now. Maybe in the future, if I do decide to add a water tank, you know, if she's behaving or, uh, or as we grow, I do plan on getting a generator. Guys, I still don't have a generator. So um, I plan on getting one of those soon. But overall, for right now, I kept the seat right here just in case I have somebody tag along or I got to give somebody a lift and stuff like that, you know. But it works out as I still have space over here. You know, I got my two. Um, we have two caddies, one for my brother, the other one for me. Uh, these two bags, you know, we have our drills and our kneecaps in there. He has his right here. And then mine's down here. As you can see, we have a little bit of space down there too. So 
down here i do have my extension cord i got my uh, like i said toolbox with my drill and very at the end you probably can't see i have a new max shine air blower which i will be dropping a review for you guys soon i haven't used it yet that's why i haven't dropped it yet but as you guys can see i got some of my most important um products that I have to typically you know refill which i go through more a bit more you know my uh, extraction products my interior products soap you know wool cleaner formula four whatever 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 and then as you guys can see i have my fortress air compressor right here this is a two gallon she you know she's pretty quiet she works pretty decently you know um one of my boys austin was telling me that he ended up picking one of these up but uh a six gallon pancake i believe it is and um he said that one runs a lot better so i might consider that in the future but you know i have a, i have it right here so i could just hook up my extension cord you know hook this up and then just basically get to it let me remove this real quick inside here if you can see i have my air you know my air guns my air tools vortex you know uh, my spray gun for i can lay down our tire dressing or whatever these are just kind of um scents that um i made at home well i didn't make them at home i bought a product and diluted them and just put them in some bottles they smell good one of them's new car smell and the other one's cherry smell and as we make our way towards the trunk You would see that we still have, you know, the same one that we had on our other SUV. You know, I have on my, um, basically extra things that I might need here. You know, um, plumbing tape, uh, funnels, my clay bars, you know, a little bit of tools, extra brushes, applicators, and stuff like that. My second one is all for, um, for my interior towels, interior um, items that I might need, you know, scrub ninjas these somu scrubs this pns one i haven't tried that one out I need to give it a try and then um down here i would have my exterior towels mostly my small ones because i do have another bin where i keep my drying towels but these are other you know wax towels and stuff like that that i keep down here as you see right here, we have our buckets, our wheel brushes, and stuff like that. Right here, we got some foam cannons, pump sprayers, wheel cleaner, and such. I actually like this uh, funnel a bit more. It stops it from foaming up too much. With uh, right here in this section, we have actually our easy wheels just to grab right away, hook them up, and we ain't got to be fighting with our water hose. Right here, we got our handy dandy, our rigid vacuum, four gallon. Back there we got the three-in-one vac master you know she does work pretty good uh, we use her as a uh, strictly for extraction we had to modify the handle because the handle was too bulky if you're familiar with those or the heart you know they have a very bulky handle so we had to modify that but right here we have our um our metallic uh steamer works like a champ We've been having this uh, Sun Joe uh, pressure washer for running almost two years, guys. You know, it's definitely holding up. They didn't expect that one from the Sun Joe, but pulling up a fight. Right there, we got our water hose. We have a 75 foot. You know, um, haven't really updated much from our last setup, you know, in my last video, but, you know, we came along pretty decently. Right here, we have our, our step ladder, we have our foldable table. This one's very clutch at certain times. You could just pop this baby out and have most of your chemicals right there. You ain't got to have a mess on your client's property. Back there, we have our DeWalt work table. Man, that's a solid, solid work table right there. I definitely you know, recommend that one. Right here, as you can see, we have our, um, for, you know, long to reach areas, you know, get up in the, in the roof. Down there, if you can see, we have an under hood light. You definitely got to have an under hood light in your detailing arsenal. If you haven't watched my video on, you know, how clutch they can be, I suggest you do. I'll probably put a link in the description for you guys.
So as you guys can see, guys, my setup is not all that. You know, don't look too professional, but it definitely does get the job done. So I, with that being said, guys, I do plan on doing improvements in the future. If I do get a, you know, generator in the future, I most likely plan on keeping this one, the generator right here, guys, possibly right here. If I do get the generator, which means I might have to push these things back a little bit more. So that's when I'll probably be removing this seat right here. I'll possibly be removing this seat then. I'll bring um, my drawer, put it towards that wall right there, and possibly one more, and then, you know, have an area where if I do end up getting the water tank, maybe right here, but if not, we have a little bit of extra space for storage and stuff like that. So definitely, like I said, I plan on getting a generator right here, hopefully. And if I do get that, I'll probably build like a little shelf right here. You know, and if we do get a water tank or whatever in the future, then rails and stuff could go right here and such, right? But one thing that I definitely had to do just to bring it together a bit more was... um. Okay, let me set that right there real quick. Was get a power bank. So I can have some LED lights, guys. Let me see. As you guys can see. You know, it's pretty dope. I just figured with some LED lights, she would come back a bit more. I like these though. Look. Okay, let me. I like those different colors and stuff. So pretty cool. A little touch. All right, guys. So I think we're close to the ending of this video. But before I do let you guys go, I want to ask you guys, what do you think about the setup? Does it look pretty professional? Does it look pretty ghetto? You know, what would you do in the future to make this, you know, set up a lot better? And also, I want to ask you guys, what do you think about the van? You know, um, you think she'll hold up considering she's almost as old as me? You know, with that being said, guys, I want to encourage all you guys, everybody out there, you know, to just keep on doing your thing. Keep on pushing forward. Remember the purpose and why you're doing this. And also, too, if you're in my steps, you know, you've been grinding for a while. You know, you've been grinding out of your personal vehicle. I want to encourage you guys not to be, you know, um, not to be discouraged and be encouraged because everything's possible. You know, I'm talking like she's, you know... A, 2019 Mercedes, but it's just because I'm truly grateful, guys, and I feel like um, no matter what we do in life, any accomplishment, we should be grateful and celebrate the wins, you know, it just motivates you to do better in life and continue pushing forward. So with that being said, guys, remember, every day is a blessing and every struggle is a lesson, so don't be stressing. Bye!